Hi everyone, uh, this is Chef McIsaac and I am going to walk you through the steps on how to do a few things uh, that you need to do uh, whenever you are starting at IUP for the first time. So to show you where I came to this screen first, I'm going to go into my um, web address bar and type in my.iup.edu and it takes you to this login screen. Your username should have been mailed to you, um, so you should receive a four or five letter username that is automatically generated from IUP. So I'm going to go ahead and log into my account so I can walk you through a few steps. Uh, but again, at this point, you should have received your username and you should have created a password after using their temporary password to log into your account. So as I log in, I just want you to uh, take a little look at the home page here for the My IUP. And this is really a centralized website that has links to many resources you will use while you are a student here. It is good to take a little bit of time again to familiarize yourself with the setup um, and everything that you can access from this one site. This is where you will also find your final grades posted from every class when you access the academics tab. So we are currently on the home tab and then here you can see academics and finances, campus life, campus services and personal info. Again, that's just across the left-hand side of your page. You can access this from your cell phone, your smartphone as well. However, it may uh, it presents itself a little differently. So you may have to click around a bit to find these icons as I believe they only show you the little symbol and not the words connected to it. Uh, notice that you also have email, D2L, Noodle, Crimson Connect, and iHelp. So that would be um, other links that you can use whenever you are here. So what I'm going to have you do today is access the personal info tab. So we are going to click on personal info. And then right here at the beginning where you see personal information at the top, I want you to click on this emergency notification system registration and updates. You need to click on that and fill in the information that um, is requested. This is for updates while you are here as a student, uh, that if for any reason campus would be closed, you would find out first through this system. It is required to have this filled out if you live on campus, and it is optional if you live off campus, although it is highly recommended. Um, I have it filled out for me personally as well. Again, this is where you will receive the most current information if for some reason IUP were to close um, just for a day. Uh, we've had this happen due to weather. It may be hard to think of, but we do get snow here. I know it's nice and sunny right now, uh, but you know, if we get a, a crazy snowstorm in November and something would happen that campus would be shut down, this is how you would um, get notified the fastest. Okay, now, um, as you click on that, it most likely opened a second tab for you. I'm not going to click on this because it will pull up my personal information, but again, that's where you need to go to fill in your information. Now, if it did open a second tab, um, fill it in, save it, and then exit that tab. Now, you want to, again, back under this personal information tab, I want you to scroll until you find the student information section. So here at the top, you see personal information. Find the one that says student information section. And underneath that section, you should have an option to click on record release authorization. I'm going to put up a link that will include more details on this on D2L. But essentially, it is important that you fill this out, which will give permission to whomever you choose, may it be your parents, your guardians, or anyone else, um, to have access to your grades and additional important information, such as financial aid and housing records, while you are here as a student. Without completing this release form, 
you are the only one who can access your records. So you must be sure that it's filled out. Um, even if you are at home with your parents and you decide to open up your My IUP and share it with them, they would not be able to contact the school and discuss anything at all. If we do not have this form filled out, we are not allowed to release any information. So it is up to you to decide who you want to share that information with, but that would be um, how and where you would find that. Again, there will be further instructions on D2L. Um, there should be a link provided for that as well. So please click on that link for more information, but it is very important that you fill out that record release authorization uh, for whoever you want to see. Again, it can be grandparents, it can be parents, it can be a spouse, a significant other, um, whoever you wish to share that information with. Okay, so that's all I have for you right now. Um, I do Hope that this short video helped you find the information that you needed and I look forward to meeting you very soon in the fall semester.